Good morning, South Amboy Elementary School. It is another Mindful Monday with Mrs. Masella. So remember we talked about being mindful is to be aware of what's happening all throughout our bodies, in our brains, in our hearts, and our actual physical body. And the reason we want to be mindful is because it helps us to manage stress when we have it. Hopefully you're not always stressed out or feeling worried or upset, but in those times that you are, the more mindful you can be, the better you can handle it. So that's why we do these Mindful Monday videos every Monday. So I'm adding in something new this week week and it's called the peace hands. So everybody take your finger, index finger, that's your pointer for my little friends and your thumb on both hands, bring them together. Okay. So it's like when you say, okay, to somebody, if you've ever done that before, these are called peace hands. And if you can remember during all of our breathing today to keep your fingers like this, this is helping you become more mindful of your body. So often we get so busy with our day and we get focused on other things that we forget about where our body is, where our mind is, and this helps us focus again, okay? So I want you to try to keep these peace hands the whole time while we're doing our breath today. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit and I'm changing things up. If you've noticed the cards on your teacher's wall or in your classroom somewhere, it shows you the breath that we do each week and the poses that you might be doing in your gym classes. So if you were to look at it this week, it I'm pretty sure it says balloon breath. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like that one. So remember I told you, you're going to find breaths that work for you and that don't work for you. So here's one that's super popular. I've gotten lots of great feedback on this breath and it's called the cooling breath. I have found myself needing to use the cooling breath a lot more lately because school has been pretty stressful. I'm so happy to be back with all of you, but you might see that the adults are, are having to do a lot of extra stuff these days. So the cooling breath has been very helpful for me. So I wanted to bring that to your attention. So with cooling breath, it's very different inhale. You actually, rather than normally we inhale through the nose, you're going to keep your mouth open and inhale through your mouth. And what it does is it, when you suck in all the air, it cools it off and it helps cool your whole body, which in turn, helps you to relax and calm down and be more focused. So if we just practice the inhale for a second, this is what it's gonna look like. So your lips come together kind of like a, the letter O or donut. Um, and that breath should feel cool coming in and that helps to calm your body down, okay? And then our exhale is the same as it always is, right back through the mouth, okay? And you should hear your breath and Really, the people around you in your classroom should hear your breath as well. If you're doing a true, good, deep breath, the ones that help you relax, people around you should hear it. We don't normally hear people breathing, but these are to help us relax, okay? So don't be afraid or worried that people can hear your breath. That means you're doing it the right way, okay? So let's get back to our peace hands, okay? And you don't have to leave them up like this. You can put them down on your lap down by your sides or wherever you're comfortable. If you're sitting at your desk, I'm sitting at a table right now. So now my peace hands are resting right on the table, but I'm gonna leave them in that position so that I can be very mindful. So we are going to do three cooling breaths together. Okay, and remember not using the nose today. We're breathing in through the mouth and out through the mouth. Okay, ready friends? Okay. I puffed up my cheeks for this because I have noticed that you haven't been able to hear me. So I'm hoping that you can at least see my cheeks puffing up and you know that I'm inhaling very deeply and then I'm exhaling all of that stress, getting it all out of me, okay? <clears throat> Let's do another one. Grown-ups who are listening, if you haven't done a breath yet, please do this last one with us. That last one felt great. I hope that helped you feel a little bit more relaxed also. 
So I want to talk about our positive statement today and we get to talk about something fun. So let's think about birthdays and everybody here has a birthday because it's the day that we were born. Some people celebrate their birthdays. Some people don't. Some people do lots and lots of stuff for their birthdays. Some people just do a little bit of stuff for their birthday and that's okay. It doesn't matter what it is, but a very common thing on birthdays is that you will get gifts for your birthday. So you get birthday presents. Raise your hand if you've ever gotten a birthday present. I hope all the hands went up. And if you didn't get one, if you haven't had gotten a birthday present yet, I'm going to make sure you get one this year. You let me know. Okay. So we get presents on our birthday and those gifts are the way our friends and family let us know that they're happy to celebrate our birthday with us and that they love us and they want to make us happy. And that's wonderful. But I want you to stop and think about something for a minute. That present that you open is nice. It's thoughtful. It's fun, probably. But it's not the most important thing. I want you to understand that you, yes, you, you are a gift. You are the biggest gift the world could have. You are a gift to everyone every day. So that's, that's an interesting thing to think about. And I want you to remember that this week, especially if you are doubting yourself in any way or feeling like you didn't do well enough at your baseball game or on your math test or cleaning up your room or if somebody at home was a little bit grouchy and you felt like it was your fault, you need to remember that you are a gift every day. So repeat it with me, my friends. I am a gift. Again, I am a gift. And the last time, I am a gift. And we can all be gifts to one another every single day. And I want you to remember that about yourselves. You are a gift to me. I'm so happy to be back with all of you. And I'm enjoying our Mindful Mondays together. And I'm enjoying seeing you all around the school. So my friends, have a wonderful week. Remember that you're a gift. And when you're not feeling so great or you're feeling upset, <sighs> cooling breaths will help. Okay, friends, see you next Monday. Bye, everybody.